What's up folks, Jerry from Chase Way and I'm back with shop review number 16 and today's shop review is going to be Monica Edwards' shop. Says she needs this so very badly. Her shop is Preppy Step and Etsy. And before we get into it, if you want to get your shop reviewed, you can just come over to my Facebook group. It's called Etsy Print on Demand. It's the one with over uh, 21,000 members. And look for this featured post here. You can see my mug there and it's got my YouTube channel and then you can just drop your shop in the comments and I'll get to it even. Eventually. So the previous shop we did was Carla Murphy's shop. You can go back and see that in succession here. She did a great job in a very small niche. And now we're on to Monica Edwards and her preppy steppin. So first thing I want to say is a bit of a disclaimer. And that is that basically twofold. Everything I say is intended to be constructive, but it's not going to be only about stroke and egos here. I want to tell you what you are doing right. But more importantly, I want to give you things that you can action now to work on to implement in your shop to get more sales and put you in a better situation than you were prior to this review right the second thing is that anything I say isn't guaranteed to make you money conversely unfortunately if I could just say the magic words and then everybody would be rich we'd all be much much happier and I could be able to charge a thousand dollars for each one of these reviews right ultimately but yeah that said it's all going to be you know, a combination of Etsy's best practices and my 10 years of Etsy print on demand experience and hopefully you taking action is the third element on what I say to hopefully you know boost some sales here so come down to you at the end of the day but uh, without further ado let's look at this here so we got preppy stepping so we got monica here i would add a photo here right away just so that you instill some kind of trust right now it's blank add some information about yourself here build trust you've got uh how many sales was it four sales little to no right so so this one is going to be about building trust for you right off the hop you have four sales so you don't qualify for the star seller badges that would normally show up here that is okay you've got 92 items already i don't know how long you've been around 2021 okay so you've had four sales in two years so I don't think you've been probably listing for two years let's just look at this actually I'll sort by most recent and we'll go to the initial one because something tells me you probably started last year right or 2023 let's look at your listing age here four months okay so you've been only open for four months you've already got 90 something so I'll sort by most recent and we'll scroll down to the end. These shoes are $92 and they're very, very specific. So what are we looking at here? While we're in here, let's just look at this listing here. So all women. I know that these are roughly $35 if you're paying for like a premium pricing, that monthly membership kind of thing. And I think they're like $9 to ship. So I assume oh, you have free delivery on everything. Okay, so it's a huge margin. Let's say 88% is yours minus the 45. So you're looking at $36 is your profit margin on these shoes. That is huge. That's more than 100% markup. I think that's a big kind of barrier for people shopping right so not only are you charging a hundred dollars for these shoes you know if, if there's tax of any kind you're also very specific here with the halloween spooky ghost preppy slip on canvas for preschool teachers nurse practitioners there it's a run-on sentence you're not using any punctuation and it's super super niche like these aren't going to be something that people buy all the time right or, or any time of the year these are going to be something that people specifically buy at halloween so to spend you know that much money on them i don't think is gonna you know work in your favor here let's look at what's going on here before i address the title halloween decor fall decor it is not decor so you're leveraging massive keywords here that are wrong so it's shoes they're uh, ghost shoes is one but you know these are canvas slip-on shoes nurse shoes teacher shoes kind of thing right like they're not it's not fall decor it's not halloween decor you're not hanging these on a wall right so be intentional with your keywording and make sure that you're using relevant keywords as well because this is not how to do it and i really want you to do you know put the work in and do the right kind of work because you're you know you've got almost 100 listings up it looked like right yeah almost 100 listings up coincidentally also 92 same price as the shoes but you know in four months so it's not that you're not doing work it's almost like it's almost a listing a day you know i'd hate to see you kind of keep going in a direction that isn't going to be beneficial right the goal is to have like a couple of perfectly put together listings that you can then duplicate and add swap out the keywords and swap out some of the you know the imagery but you don't want to leave with shoes you want to leave with ghost shoes or halloween halloween themed or spooky ghost shoes right or slip on halloween or ghost preppy slip on shoes right 
and then have punctuation. So again, that video I'm gonna to link to down below, actually I'll put it right here too. It tells you how to write titles and tags for Etsy so that you can exact match and broad match. Those are the two main ways your title and tags are going to match. And right now here, you're not going to exact match for anything and exact matching is when your keyword is exactly what the customer puts into the search bar, right? Those are the most powerful keywords, but unless you break them up and unless somebody writes all of this as one keyword, this is the way Etsy is seeing this right now as one keyword, right? So in order to exact match for that, they would have had to type this whole thing in there. In order to broad match, you can broad match, you know, for all kinds of stuff in here, which is like uh, teacher shoes, for Halloween, right? Like that's the way the broad matching works where it just takes all of your keywords and reorganizes them and then tries to match them as best as possible. But you would want to have, like I said, ghost slip on shoes for teachers, comma, or I would even put nurses. I wouldn't put nurse practitioners necessarily, but just nurses in general, right? Like be very general about it just to make sure that people know that they've come to the right place. Or uh, even easier is spooky ghost shoes for women, comma. That's what people would actually type into the search bar, right? Or ghost themed shoes for women. Uh, and then after that, what is it? Who is it for? And then after that, kind of you can add your other keywords in there, but nobody's looking for therapist, pediatric, doctor's office managers when they're looking for shoes that are playful and Halloween ghost themed, right? So these are, I feel like you're just keyword stuffing because you didn't do enough niche research and that happens. We see that all the time. People just kind of keyword stuff just because they don't know enough about the niche to actually use keywords that are relevant to the niche. So I would say do some serious niche research. And if we look at your shop sections here, make sense to the customer, right? They're not gonna click on a shop section that only has like one or two items in it. It's a waste of their time kind of condense these you don't want to be having niche kind of section titles and product titles pick one or the other we've seen this before in a few shops where it just gets confusing like would not any like why is preppy backpacks on its own when it's not in preppy right I feel like you're gonna have to do some niche research as to what the aesthetics are for preppy this seems kind of the idea but other than polka dots and some floral themes I don't really know what's going on here right preppy Stefan. so I would assume it's shoes but we've got you know well Stefan could be repping whatever too so I guess that makes sense I don't know what the anchor has to do with anything there's nothing nautical about any of this stuff other than looks like Crocs that are, that are, I mean, they're waterproof. Free shipping on every order. So it should tell you exactly what it is. Vibrant preppy backpacks, bags, shoes, and accessories. Vacation swag for the weekend getaway. This is a lot of information here that is going to need to be updated. It looks like, you know, holiday delivery in 2023. You haven't updated this in just as many months, four months now, three months. Update this. None of this matters, right? This is all gone garbage. Just keep it, uh, you know, relevant to your shop. It's not something that anyone's gonna go down and read anyway so just you know use this for a click below or click read more here to for 20 percent off or whatever you know like do things that are would drive people to want to read it otherwise no one's gonna read it any more than what you see here first and foremost so make it make sense make it matter looking at some of this stuff here preppy pink gators tall skinny stainless steel trendy tumbler straw gift for her so this is not how you spell steel so there's we got typos here preppy pink gators that's not what the object is right so if people are holding like come to this in search results you want them to see what it is peppy print gators tall skinny is all that's going to show up in search results right so if i did for example if i was searching for stainless skinny stainless steel in search results you're only going to see this and then dot 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 right skinny tumbler drinkware skinny steel tumbler that's exactly what you want to see first right personalized tumbler with straw personalized engraved skinny tumble at least you can see it right when you have preppy pink gators first that just doesn't make sense to the customer right it creates kind of confusion and like gators and gators spelt this way is alligators right so are there alligators on this it's kind of hard to tell what that is again i don't see it is that an alligator are we able to see that anywhere i want to say alligator but i can't it's only a tail definitely doesn't look like an alligator going the other way do we have an alligator image anywhere it's covered by a lid and the last one so not only i'm assuming this is an alligator but you can't see it not only can you not see it i mean it doesn't even make sense if you don't even show an image of an alligator on it right so just take your time and look at you know what you're doing here so again make all of this make sense think of how you would type this in as a customer right what would you type come to this tumbler you would look for like floral print skinny tumbler polka dot skinny tumbler do you have polka dot in here 
here anywhere? Let's check. No, alligator, green gators. People aren't gonna search that to come to this, right? They're gonna look for pink flower, tumbler, newborn mom. You're all over the place. Yeah, your SEO needs a lot of work. Think happy thoughts, keep going. Philippians, shine bright. So this is biblical. There's nothing to do with the Bible here. You got Bible verses, but you got, you know, instead you got teen mom and Paisley Cyan. What is the rationale behind Paisley Cyan? Don't understand. It doesn't make sense. So it's like, it makes sense that they're not selling, right? Because it doesn't make sense to look at. What are we looking at here? Listing age, six months, zero sales. Bachelorette, you've got a child with this backpack and you're using bachelorette whatever party. It makes zero sense to the listing and you're totally just throwing keywords in here that you think, you know, I, I don't even know what the thought process is here. It's all over the place. Country club, this is a child with a backpack. So again, makes sense, school backpack. You're not even using all of your, you know, the keyword real estate you got here. So what's uh title character count? 76 out of like 140. So you're barely using the just over 50% of the, you know, allotment here. Yeah, pink aqua jellyfish conch shells. That's not how you spell conch. It's C-O-N-C-H is how you spell conch shell. So, I mean, I don't even really see the conch shell on here. I mean, it could be there in the back but yeah, you've got a children in the students arguably could be college kid there, but these are young children. There's definitely not bachelorette. It's definitely not a girl's trip. It's definitely not uh, college sorority. It's not college game day. I don't even know what gingham is, but uh, it's definitely not country club or yacht club. Got polka dots in there at least, but you have aqua polka dots and there's no aqua polka dots. It's green and white polka dot. So I just think you're rushing through this. You're not making, you know, making it make sense. You're not taking your time. And again, like, you know, it's the second typo in two listings here. So let's see what else we got. Let's see what has sold actually. So you have a Christmas stocking. That's cool. But look, it says Christmas stock, right? So people know what it is. Preppy pink flamingo palm, preppy pink flamingo shoes, right? That's what these are. Hibiscus, like it, the name of the flower, palm tree. There's a palm frond in there, I guess. So you got one sale. Christmas gift isn't something you're gonna want to put on there unless that flamingo has a Christmas hat on. There's nothing here. It doesn't have the Christmas hat, Santa hat like the other one. So you're wasting Christmas gift here. And plus, what this keyword isn't gonna be relevant for another like eight months. College sorority. These are just random and have nothing to do. Stag weekend. So you're telling me that men are gonna wear this on a stag and doe weekend? That's a bachelor party. It just doesn't make sense. Take your time and try to identify a niche that you know and enjoy it seems like you're into the nautical thing but there's not a lot of nautical going on you got the blue and white that is traditional nautical colors but everything in here is pink and green and then all over the place in terms of theme you got what does preppy mean to you I don't know if I would see anybody you know at the country club wearing preppy country club beach vacation it doesn't even say hoodie does this not say hoodie it doesn't even say hoodie so it doesn't even tell you like people search for hoodie not hooded teacher or mom hooded, right? I don't know if there's a language barrier here or what, but if there is, I would definitely do some research. So I wouldn't call it a hoodie sweatshirt. I would call it a hooded sweatshirt or a hoodie or a hoodie with a IE, put the H-O-O-D-I-E also in here. Nobody is searching for joy happy. Look, you got zero competition because nobody's searching joy happy. Country club, mom, yacht, polo, beach. You're just throwing random words in there. These don't make sense at all. So that's my biggest takeaway is you're gonna need to work on what it is you wanna sell and to who, because you're all over the place. I feel like you're just trying to get stuff up. It doesn't make sense. So I feel like if you're trying to go nautical, go nautical but I don't think you know who it is you want to target, right? So I would go like with a, a personal interest. Start there. What is something you like to do? What's a hobby? I do have an entire video on how to pick a niche that I'll link to right here. It should help you get some kind of focus and direction. And it kind of gives you some insight as to why you want to pick a niche when starting out. Because right now it doesn't feel like you've kind of identified who your target market is and who you want to sell to, right? So until we figure that out for you, I think you're going to have to kind of pause this and do some research. It's not all about just throwing stuff up and hoping stuff sells right that's not a great way to approach any of it and the more stuff you list that people don't buy the lower your shop will sink in search results right so you want to make sure that you know you kind of stay relevant in terms of listing things that people actually want relevancy is the number one driver for you know more sales so the more things you list that people want is going to you know make sure that your shop stays showing up in search results because there's no demand obviously for what you're doing because right now people aren't finding your items because they're not keyword properly I think these shoes might even do well I like the designs I would add more before you add multiple products using you know same prints pick a niche that makes sense to you something you know about and then pick a product that makes sense for that niche and that'll make it all come together right because 
preppy stepping, but you got, you know, when you're talking about like going to bachelorette parties and you've got an image like this, right? Like it just doesn't make sense at all. So take your time. I think you're just trying to rush this stuff, but uh, I hope that makes sense. Sorry, I can't be more positive in that sense. I do see that you're putting in the work and you're taking time to make some things look good. I just want to make sure that, you know, you know who you're targeting and you put all this work is not in vain, right? I want you to take the time, write down a plan, who it is you're targeting, then the products and the keywords should become obvious. And like I said, I got that video that should help give you some direction that way. So thanks again for putting yourself out there. It's a lot of work to get, you know, stuff in order. So just take your time and kind of itemize your list and go through it. I hope to see, you know, check back in a couple months and I hope to see you making some progress that way. Thanks so much for putting yourself out there, Monica. Thank you.